but bless his heart, has gifted us with three observations on the economics of AI. It's touching, really, this childlike wonder at this new shiny toy. But let's not mistake wide-eyed optimism for insightful analysis. We're here to dissect, and frankly, observation one is so riddled with flaws, it's practically begging for a takedown. He states, and I quote, with the solemnity of a prophet, the intelligence of an AI model roughly equals the log of the resources used to train and run it. Oh, the profound simplicity. It's almost poetic. If poetry were written by someone who fundamentally misunderstands both intelligence and resource allocation. Let's unpack this logarithmic gem. Mr. Altman seems to believe that we can just keep throwing money and computational power at the problem and voila, intelligence magically appears, neatly following a logarithmic curve. This ignores the glaring reality of something called diminishing returns. There's a reason we don't build skyscrapers infinitely tall. At some point, the cost outweighs the benefit and the whole structure becomes unstable. The same principle applies to AI. We're already seeing it. Yes, larger models have shown impressive capabilities, but the gains are not linearly proportional to the exponential increase in resources. We're hitting a wall, a wall made of energy consumption, data scarcity, and the fundamental limitations of current architectures. To suggest a simple logarithmic relationship is to ignore the complex, nonlinear dynamics of deep learning. It's like saying the tastiness of a cake is the log of the flour used. Eventually, you just have a giant, incredible mess. He blithely lists training, compute, and data, and inference compute as the key resources. This is a gross oversimplification that reveals a shocking lack of depth. What about algorithmic in innovation? What about the human ingenuity required to design new architectures to formulate novel training methods to curate and understand the data itself? These aren't just interchangeable commodities you can buy in bulk. A breakthrough in an algorithm design can be worth a thousand times more than simply throwing another exaflop at the problem. Altman's model reduces the brilliant minds working in AI to mere resource managers, shuffling data and compute cycles. It's insulting, frankly. Let's talk about data. Altman acts as if all data is created equal, a homogenous fuel for this AI engine. This is patently false. The quality of data matters far more than the quantity. We're already scraping the bottom of the barrel in many domains. Throwing more low quality, biased, or irrelevant data at a model doesn't magically create intelligence. It creates a bigger, dumber model. Furthermore, the assumption that we have an infinite supply of meaningful data is ludicrous. There are limits to how much human-generated text, images, and video exist. And even if we could magically generate infinite synthetic data, how do we ensure it's representative, unbiased, and actually useful for training a truly intelligent system? Altman conveniently ignores these inconvenient truths. The most fundamental flaw, however, is the implicit assumption that this resource expenditure directly translates to intelligence. What is intelligence, Mr. Altman? He uses the term as if it's a single quantifiable metric, like the height of a bar graph. True intelligence is about generalization, abstraction, creativity, common sense, and understanding. It's about the ability to solve novel problems, to adapt to unforeseen circumstances, to reason about the world in a way that goes beyond pattern matching. Current AI models, even the largest ones, are incredibly impressive at specific tasks, but they are not 
generally intelligent. They're sophisticated statistical parrots mimicking patterns without genuine comprehension. Throwing more resources at them might make them better parrots, but it won't magically imbue them with the spark of true understanding. Altman conflates performance on narrow benchmarks with actual intelligence, a classic and deeply misleading error. In conclusion, Mr. Altman's observation one is not an observation. It's a wish. It's a Silicon Valley fantasy fueled by hype and a profound misunderstanding of the complexities of intelligence. It's a simplistic, reductionist view that ignores diminishing returns, the critical role of human ingenuity, the limitations of data, and the very nature of intelligence itself. We need a more nuanced, realistic, and frankly, intelligent discussion about the future of AI. This, this is not it.